and welcome to my channel. It has been a while since I have shared any new videos and I thought I might share a little bit about a project I've been working on. So in front of me here is a remote controlled electric drive lawnmower and I've been working on this project for a little over a year now. If you look back I have a couple of older videos that discuss kind of the teardown and the first build up with an electric drive and that's just kind of focusing on the drive unit and not the mower deck side. And since now I have a working proof of concept, I thought I might take some time and review the progress, some of the issues I'm having and some of the stuff that I'd like to do for the future. So I'll pull you in here as I give an overview of the power unit and that way you can see better what I'm talking about. I'll give a, a quick rundown of the mower in general. And this mower started off as a, 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 I think late 80s. It's a white mower and it was a gas powered zero turn mower. And I stripped out the engine and then um, that made room for my battery pack. And this battery pack is a, right now I'm running uh, 36 volts off of it for the mower deck and then 24 volts off of it for the motor drive. These are 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. The fourth battery is just in here right now to keep things symmetric so that I can hold the batteries down to their battery hold down with uh, these uh, ratchet straps. So from the battery we move to the motor driver and this is a off-the-shelf we we'll call it a robotic style uh, motor driver there's a an output for the left motor and an output for the right motor it is already set up for taking an input from a receiver and transmitter set and that's handy for not having to do much um, messing around for making it a remote controlled and then the electric motors, there's a motor for the left hand wheel and a motor for the right hand wheel. And these motors are from a, a really old electric drive wheelchair. They are sufficient for what I need them to do right now. So they, they have given me a, a good confidence on this proof of concept that uh, this system works. They are, however, pretty underpowered and they are nice and hot to the touch right now. If you look back at one of my older videos, I've changed the sprocket, the support bearing for this through shaft to come from the motor side to the wheel side. And I'm using a it's a bearing out of a go-kart. It actually worked out pretty well. Three mounts, and then it's wide enough that it supports that through shaft. There's a bearing on the inside, and then a bearing right there. And that keeps that shaft from wobbling. Like I said, I'm pulling 24 volts off the battery for the motors. I'm doing that in a, a less than desirable manner. I had a bit of a hiccup while I was recording my discussion about the batteries. So I will finish that and then talk a bit about the mower deck. I have four batteries here with the intent to upgrade to a 48 volt system. So four batteries, four 12 volt batteries in series. Right now I have three batteries in series for 36 volt. 36 volts is for the mower deck. I am tapping 24 volts for the motor controller to drive the motors and I'm doing that by grabbing uh, in that three series of batteries and that is not good for long-term use because I can begin to imbalance the batteries on the discharge as I have more load on two of the batteries for driving the motors and then that causes an issue for charging as well 
because I could potentially overcharge that battery that's only seeing the load from the, the mower deck. I don't intend on buying a DC to DC converter for this because um, I don't plan on staying with this configuration. I want to go to 48 volts for a better motor drive. The mower deck is made by General Electric and it's from sometime in the mid 60s. General Electric made a lawn mower, lawn tractor, residential style lawn tractor. And this is the mower deck from it. Three motors each. Blade is driven by its own motor. The motors are 36 volts. Uh, there's not much more to say about it. It's just an old mower deck. It works well for this proof of concept. I will discuss quick about the issues that I have with this overall proof of concept. The first issue are the motors. The motors are not in any way a continuous duty motor. They get hot very quick. I'm asking them to do more than what they were designed for. And when I was mowing my lawn, the first time I had this complete, I had to stop about three quarters of the way through, let the motors cool down because the, the power unit itself was, it slowed down and I, I couldn't get it to drive straight anymore because the motors were kind of working back and forth against me for some reason. And I think it's just because they got so hot. The other issue is perhaps some of the mower deck, but it does fine on residential. Again, this was more than it's designed to do. And maybe I can find a, a brush hog style mower deck or something more of a rough cut mower deck to, to have for this taller stuff. So the improvements would be to swap out these wheelchair motors to a, a brushless DC style motor like what you find in a quadcopter or an RC car, a bigger RC car. And then I, in doing that, I'm going to have to update the gear train. And I'm kind of working on that a little bit. I'd also like to add the circuit protection for the batteries. Upgrading the motors is going to require upgrading my motor driver. And when I do that, then I can switch to a 48 volt system, which is kind of the purpose of being able to fit four batteries in here. And then another interesting upgrade would be to add what's called kind of an autopilot or even an autonomous system where you can kind of map the, map the outer area of your lawn and then set it up so that the mower can do its own tracking and mow back and forth within your, your area that you've set for it. So that's kind of a, a overview of what the mower is, some of the issues I'm having or found with the proof of concept, and then what I want to do for the future. So if you like what I was talking about here, feel free to share it with somebody else. And thanks for watching.